Hello everyone. Amidst a lower market cap, NIO resilient tech advantage and asset potential hint at a promising long-term investment opportunity. Is the price of NIO stock low? Is NIO market cap high or low? Because I recently heard that NIO market cap is only 12.33 billion, Xpain is 13.32 billion, and Lie Auto is 34.57 billion. NIO has the lowest market cap among the three. And a little while ago, two years ago, NIO was the first, the leader, and had a higher market cap than the other two. So, NIO has fallen to the last place in terms of market cap. But you know, in terms of technology and everything else, NIO is still in the first place. We want to analyze the value of NIO infrastructure, what assets they have, etc. So, first of all, after CYVN second round of funding, they received $2.2 billion. So their cash pile is good. By reducing the Q4 burn rate, maybe around $600 million, they have around $7.5 to $8 billion USD in cash, which is quite decent. Now, let's talk about the value of their infrastructure. So, the cash is good, a decent healthy amount of cash. So we will look at everything from swap stations to delivery centers and see what their value is. By the end of November, they had 2,217 swap stations. The cost of building each swap station is approximately 1.5 million RMB. For some older stations, it could be 3 million RMB, but let's assume 1.5 million RMB, which is roughly equivalent to 200,000 US dollars making the total cost of swap stations 443.4 million USD just for the swap station. Okay, now let's talk about charging stations. Now, whether you know it or not, NIO has more charging stations than swap stations. By the end of November, they had 3,488 charging stations, and the cost of building each charging station ranges from 60,000 to 200,000 US dollars because it is quite expensive due to the transformer costing a lot. So let's assume about 100,000 US dollars for each. So in total, all these charging stations amount to approximately 345.5 million USD. It's a significant cost for just charging and swapping stations. Now let's discuss NIO houses. This is a bit controversial because some people think it's unnecessary or ineffective, but I believe it's quite useful. They are like advertising storefronts, and their value is quite high. Each NIO house, some of them are quite large, will cost around 4 to 5 million RMB to build. This is a conservative estimate, as some NIO houses are extravagant and cost more to construct. So this is a very conservative estimate. The cost of one NIO house is approximately 1 million USD, which is quite low, but for the sake of this calculation, We'll assume that each NIO house costs 1 million USD. The total for NIO houses comes to 142 million USD, and NIO has 220 NIO spaces. Now, each NIO space costs around 2 to 5 million RMB to build, which is roughly 200,000 USD. So, the total value of all NIO spaces is approximately 64 million USD. Let's move on to service centers. NIO has 215 service centers, and constructing service centers is also quite expensive due to the tools and equipment they house. We'll provide a weak estimate that each service center costs around 1 million USD, though the actual cost could be higher. So, the total for service centers comes to 215 million USD, which is quite interesting. Next, let's talk about delivery centers. NIO has some of the largest delivery centers, especially in Shanghai, resembling entire buildings. We'll keep it conservative and say that each delivery center costs only 1 million USD. So this comes down to 62 million. And if you look at all of them together, it's an infrastructure. It's 1.3 billion in infrastructure costs, my friends. All of them together contribute to a 1.3 billion infrastructure. Add this to the $8 billion in cash. So if we talk only about tangibles, you have around 9.3 billion, let's say $9 billion in assets. It's essential to understand this point. 
This means that in this market cap, assets and cash are only about three billion more. Now, obviously, there are other assets as well, such as patents and other things, and we are not considering debt because that is quite high for NIO, but that will be due much later. So if you look at NIO burn rate, which is about 600 million per quarter, as it is currently going, with that money, if they don't dilute further, they have enough money to run operations for about four years. Four years to run with this burn rate. Now, I personally expect that when the entire infrastructure is set up, NIO cash burn will decrease, and these battery swap partners will also contribute money to build infrastructure. With the sub-brand coming in, there will be a significant improvement in NIO earnings, and these swap station partners will also greatly help NIO earnings. During these four years, NIO will likely fix everything and essentially become profitable. Another thing that can be highlighted is the price-to-sales ratio. Some people don't like to look at it, but now it's at a 2.14 price per sale. NIO was at 23 price per sale at all-time highs. If you only look at this metric, it seems quite undervalued. Now, talking about the stock, it seems to be breaking out with decent volume. It has crossed the trend line in the last few days, and bullish momentum is picking up again. So the bullish momentum is good. It seems that there might be a slight pullback in the next few days, but it's advisable to hold at 7.9. If this support holds and then continues to rise steadily, it could mark a significant bottom. Okay, it could mark a significant bottom, but if this price point doesn't hold, doesn't stay above 7.9, and drops to 7.5, then expect even lower prices. This simply indicates that the momentum has faded, my friends. So let's hope that the momentum can take us higher, much higher. That would be very, very good. Look, NIO CEO has stated that they see value in the stock price and intend to push it higher again. But it's true that everything depends on whether investors have a long-term perspective on where everything is going. And this is based on NIO technology. If you believe that NIO technology is good, if you believe that NIO market dominance will last long, and if you think that NIO issues are temporary, then maybe NIO is the right investment for you. And the same goes for other companies. They might be selling well now, but can they continue to sell well three or four years from now? That's something to consider because what's happening now has already been priced in. But what will happen four or five years from now has not been priced in yet. Personally, I believe that four or five years from now, NIO will be in a better position with all its sub-brands launched and selling well, along with other partners and battery swap stations and the public network that is bringing in a lot of money for NIO. Also with energy trading, this will bring in a significant amount of money for NIO. So I think NIO will continue to be a leader and will be even brighter and better in the future. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing and see you in the next video.